Ivy Williams says it is not easy growing up as a budgelug man in northern New South Wales. There is a lack of trust from largely white-owned businesses, plus unemployment and prejudice. Then there are the temptations to take drugs, drink alcohol, and waste your potential. Even so, Ivy wants to encourage other young indigenous people to step up, turn up to school, get a job. It is heartbreaking to see good family members that have a bright future ahead of them, throw it away by hanging with the wrong people and doing the wrong thing, he says. He says he is often criticized for speaking like a white fella, but that only makes him more determined to work harder to be a positive role model for the next generation, which he is hoping to do as a 2018 Haywire winner. Ivy is not the only winner trying to make a difference. Latresha Mucker from Torres Strait's Door Island, off the northern tip of Queensland, and Muriel Hunter from Broken Hill, New South Wales, have their hearts set on nursing. Latresha says she was inspired to become a nurse after the death of her nephew. That day gave me the push I needed to move to Toowoomba for boarding school, to study hard, she says. A career in nursing seemed out of reach for Muriel because of learning difficulties at school but a support teacher made a big difference to her grades. In year 10, Muriel took some health subjects during a two-week summer school at Jumbo Indigenous House of Learning at the University of Technology in Sydney. I met new people, learnt new things and had a taste of what it's like at uni, she says. Then I worked hard at school and was awarded a school-based nursing traineeship at our local hospital for years 11 and 12. With the support of nursing staff at Broken Hill Base Hospital, where Muriel works on the medical ward two days a week, she was awarded school-based trainee of the year in 2015. I never thought that I would ever have an opportunity to become a nurse. But I am on my way. Dahlia Killer, from the remote Kimberley community of Luma, near Fitzroy Crossing in Western Australia, has found her place in the community playing AFL. I love football because I like to run and run, and bump into people without getting into trouble for it she says. Growing up in Luma, there were many opportunities for women's football, except for twice a year when we'd played the Broom or Derby girls. It was on a trip to Broom when Dahlia learned a Kimberley women's football league was starting up. I was so pumped, I called to wait to play for the Luma Lady Eagles, she said. Tiara Douglas and Saw Palmer left their communities, and a life of fishing, crabbing, camping and swimming, for boarding school. For Tiara, the shock was immediate. She left her remote community in Titjukala, NT, for boarding school in Hialesville, Victoria, and arrived at Melbourne Airport wearing shorts and a t-shirt. I felt the cold breeze and started to shiver, she says. But when she woke up in the boarding house the next morning and saw gum trees, she knew everything was going to be okay, and she gradually lost that initial sense of loneliness. I made friends from all over Australia, who are always there for me when something goes wrong, she says.